When we talk about DIKW in data visualization, it's something very important to understand that what is DIKW. Many of you might have heard this and might also have experience. If you are from a data background, then you might know what is DIKW stand for. DIKW stand for data information, knowledge and wisdom. Now this is actually a bottom to top approach. So basically you have the data and you find the relationship among the data and that give you information. Now in the information you find some of the patterns, you compare different informations, you get more patterns and that's something which you call knowledge. And from our timeless principle of acquired knowledge, you can get into a stage where you can collect wisdom. Now the goal of this section is to tell you that data in itself sometimes is not that powerful until it can help find some problem and conclusions to make meaningful actions for some results. To explain this, I will tell one story. Now this is a real story which happened in 1854. Now in 1854 in London, there was a cholera outbreak case. People were getting sick and other people were trying to know what is the cause of the problem. They were seeing this for the first time and um, until Jon Snow came, he depicted that uh, the people who are affected by cholera, they are mostly living near one particular water pump. And um, thus he was able to convince that the cholera is a waterborne disease and the pump which is shown in the orange color is being affected. Now this is an example of our DIKW because the information which uh, Jon Snow had or the data you can see the data points here is the people who are getting affected with cholera where they live and the map of uh, the London. Now in this case he also have information about position of the water pumps. Now if you use the map and you map out all the victims of the cholera which you can see the black dots there in the maps and uh, also the water pump then you can really understand that uh, the majority of the victims are near the water pump which is being affected. So now you can really say that um, there is a correlation between the disease spreading and people using the same water pump which is infected. Now this is something where we step into from information into knowledge. So if we talk about the wisdom aspect of the story, the wisdom aspect is that cholera is a waterborne disease. Now in future if there's an area where people are getting sick of the cholera and um, there are specific regions where many people are getting sick, then the first thing we should go is that we should check the source of water supply and see if there is some water supply which is getting infected from the germ which spread cholera. So this is DIKW and how it really helps solve a mystery. It is also very helpful in finding some of the meaningful information which can be legendary.